Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video on the Talios targeting pod which has been ordered by France to be integrated with its Rafale. It is target acquisition sensor fitted on a pod mounted externally on the fighter jet. Targeting pods typically have laser seekers, infrared and electro optical sensors to acquire enemy targets on surface and guide bombs or missiles onto them. Talios or targeting long range identification optronic system employs artificial intelligence technology for automatic detection of targets and can undertake both target acquisition and reconnaissance mission in addition to providing color imagery. Thales has also developed permanent vision mode to assist pilots. This mode can be used to incorporate the image entered by Talios in a 3D map. The crew can therefore accurately locate the area filmed by the pod. Several visual indicators provide complementary real-time information on the tactical situation. Prior to the development of Talios, the absence of a modern target acquisition system was perceived to be a major disadvantage of Rafale fighter jets. Qatar, which is one of the initial operators of Rafale, had to order US developed target acquisition port for its Rafale fighter jets. The Indian Rafales also does not have Talios. Thales started the delivery of Talios to France in late 2018. The French Defence Minister had also revealed that an Indian Air Force pilot was given demonstration of the Talios. The Indian Air Force pilot flew a Rafale F-3R fighter on September 22, 2020 that was equipped with Talios target acquisition pod. The purpose of the flight with Indian pilot was to demonstrate the capabilities of Talios in air-to-air, air-to-ground and air-to-sea domains. So now you would have understood as why Indian Rafales does not have Talios as targeting port as it was not ready when Rafale order was inked between India and France. But then the question is what Indian Air Force is using as targeting port. The Indian Air Force has been using lightning target equation system from Israel's Rafale for several years now. In 2016, Rafale revealed that it would supply 164 lightning pods to the Indian Air Force. The lightning has been integrated to several aircraft of Indian Air Force including Mirage 2000, Jaguar and Su-30 MKIs. In 2017, Rafale even expressed interest in supplying the lightning pod for the Indian Air Force Rafale fleet. The lightning delivers real-time forward-looking infrared and TV HD color imagery 24 by 7. The high-resolution sensors and effective electro-optical design ensures reliable operations at standoff ranges. All sensors are incorporated within a single pod to enable multiple missions such as target detection, recognition, identification, laser at a standoff, electro-optical tracking of multi-stationary targets, auto-detection of multiple dynamic and aerial targets and accurate target location extraction and pointing. One pod incorporates short wavelength infrared and medium wavelength infrared and color sensor as well as a laser designator, laser spot detector and tracker and a laser marker. It also operates with JDAM bomb guidance kit which was recently procured by Indian Air Force from US. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.